boy sure is improving. I wish he'd spend as much time on his schoolwork as he does learning to sound like some animal. That might come in handy someday. You never can tell. How'd it sound, Pa? Well, it's still sounding like the wolf's only got two legs, but it's sounding better. Did it scare the horses? Nope, but when I answered you back, I didn't scare them either, so don't feel bad. I reckon they knew it wasn't a wolf because they couldn't smell one. I reckon so. How long till we get home, Pa? Israel, for about the tenth time. Two more days if we don't lose a wheel or something. We only got two more nights of camping out. I hope we only have one more night of camping out. We're not going to camp out tomorrow. Where are we going to stay? Well, Fort Howard, if the Colonel's got some place for us to stay there. Shucks. What do you want to go there for? For one thing, your mother would like to sleep under a roof for a change after camping out for all week. I thought you liked camping out, Ma. I enjoy it now and then. But I wouldn't recommend it as a way of life. Are there going to be any kids for me to play with? Well, I doubt it. But I expect you'll survive one more day without somebody to entertain you. Now, why don't you take this little pot and run down to the creek and get some water so your mom can start cooking? Sure, Pa. Where'd you come from? We're just passing by. 
appreciate it if you'd ask your friend to put his rifle down and slam it to go off. Put your gun down, Hanks. You told me to challenge all strangers. Well, they seem like friendly folk. Put your gun down. That's an order. You'll have to excuse him for being edgy, but uh, you can see what happened here. There's only five of us left. Colonel Howard? Gone, and the other officers. I guess it's my command now, if you call four men a command. When they hit you? Daybreak. Killed ten men in the first attack, got the rest in the second. They quit when they drove off the livestock. Well, likely that's what they were after. How come the five of you stayed on? Well, as you see, we've got some burying to do. Shawnee. How can you tell? By the fletching on the shaft. Seems like you know their habits. I do. Are you real sure that's all you know about them? You didn't what? I figure it's a little bit peculiar that they haven't bothered you. More than likely, the Shawnees headed west when they left here. We came down from the Salt Licks from the north. By the way, my name's Boone, Daniel Boone. Sergeant Rafferty, this is my command, Private Hanks, Private Evans, Private Crane. That's my brother, Michael Rafferty. I'd like you to meet my family. Fun. Rebecca. My wife, Sergeant. And my son, Israel. Pleasure meeting you, ma'am. Son, you figured on spending the night, Mr. Boone? That was our plan. Well, we'll try to make you as comfortable as possible. Thank you, Sergeant. You men see if you can fix that gate so it'll close. Looks like you could do with a fresh bandage. Israel, fetch me some clean clothes from the wagon. Well, that's just a scratch, ma'am. Only take a moment. Sit over here. All right. Mm. Have to be looked after. That's a bullet wound. Some of them had guns. That's something new for the Shawnee. They must have been trading with the French. Lucky that missed the bone, otherwise you might not have an arm. You might not even have your life. Ma'am, when you're born to be hanged, it doesn't much matter. This isn't going to be very professional, but at least it'll be cleaner. Well, I'm, uh, I'm very grateful to you, ma'am. There you go. Thank you. Well, there must be something else I can do. Well, the fact is, ma'am, we, uh, we don't know very much about cooking. Oh, well, if you'll have one of you men show me your supplies. Oh, I can do that. You go back to guard duty. Evans, show the lady where the supplies are. You two go back on burial detail. I can lend a hand with the burial. Well, that won't be necessary, Mr. Boone. I want to show you your quarters if you'll step this way. You seem to know this country pretty well. Well, it's my home. Mm -hmm. Is this your guardhouse? No, we kept fresh meat in there when we had it. Can I look? Uh, no, it's uh, dark down there. You might, uh, you might hurt yourself. Israel, fetch some wood. Yes, ma'am. Sure, I'm looking forward to that home cooking, Mr. Boone. It's been a long, long time. Well, when we get to Boonesboro, we'll send some relief back to you. Thank you very much, but hopefully we'll be on the trail ourselves tomorrow morning. Well, you're welcome to go as far as Boonesboro with us. I just do that. I'll think about it. Those are your quarters over there. I hope you'll find them suitable. Well, thank you. I'm sure we will. I better tend to the horses first. What does your husband do for a living, ma'am? Trapping, mostly. He's a guide and a surveyor. And sometimes he does a little scouting for the Army. Don't sound like he gets home very much. Not as often as I'd like. Well, there's no reason why a woman pretty like you are should be lonely. That's not what I said. Well, I figure you got other notions than what you're saying. Well, you figure wrong, Mr. Hanks. You don't strike me as the kind of woman who would settle for many long, lonely nights. You 
You're in my way, Mr. Hanks. Now, Willie's the name. If it was me, I'd let those traps rust. And you'd love every blessed second of it. How come your brother told Boone we might leave with him? Well, he's just making friendly talk, I guess. Yeah, well, he's friendly, all right. Even told him to spend the night when he should have told him to move on. Now, you know he couldn't do that. No, why couldn't he? This ain't no place for a woman and a kid. You mark my word, their being here is going to cause us trouble. Look, you feel that way about it, you talk to my brother. Don't talk to me. But I'll, I'll tell him, all right. I'll tell him, I'll tell him. First chance I get. Well, here's your chance, Crane. Speak your piece. What's on your mind? about Boone. What about him? Well, you're getting friendly with him, even telling him he can spend the night with us. What do you expect me to do, drive him off at gunpoint? Well, you could have got rid of him some way or other. No, you, you ask him in. I'm surprised you didn't tell him what we're after and then offer him a share of it. Are you through, Crane? Yeah, I'm through for right now. You're through from here on in. From now on, I'll decide who's thinking, talking, or asking for the five of us. Is that clear? Suppose you tell me why I can't do my own thinking. I'll tell you why. Because you haven't got the brains to pour water out of a boot if the directions were on the heel. Now get back to work. Sergeant, you've been ordering me around real good the last year or two. Now that shoulder board don't mean nothing to me no more, so don't you tell me what to do. Get on your feet, soldier. Now, do we understand each other? All I'm trying to say is that all of us agreed not to leave here till we got what we were looking for. Who's leaving? Well, you told Boone... If we don't find what we're looking for by tomorrow morning, Boone can leave and we can make some excuse to stay. And have live witnesses. Witnesses? Witnesses to what? All Boone knows is there was an Indian fight here. You don't think he'll get suspicious if he stays around? He'll be more suspicious if we don't let him stay. Did you find anything? Did you find anything, Crane? Evans, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be guarding Boone's wife and the boy. Well, Hanks is taking care of things there, Sergeant. I just want to get back to my dick. You left Hanks alone with the woman? She ain't alone, Sergeant. The kid's with her. Since when did that ever stop Hanks? Now, now, who's right? Didn't I tell you there's going to be trouble? I told him there's going to be trouble. I just told him that. Dig! Come on, Crane. Let's get out of here. Will this be enough? Yes, sir. That's plenty. You know, I figured the Shawnees must have wanted those cows awful bad to do what they did. Mm, I'll fetch some more wood, boy. We'll be needing it later. All right. Well, ma'am, this is going to be quite a supper. Fresh biscuits. Thank you, ma'am. Private Hanks, I'd like to have a word with you, please. Now oh, you hear me. And you hear me good. You stay clear of that woman. What are you figuring to do, save her for yourself? I've put up with you long enough. You either do as I say or I'll nail your hide up to dry. Or better yet, I'll tell Boone. Mm, you'll never get a better chance than right now. Mr. Boone, the sergeant wants to talk to you. You better get back to the burial detail. You send Crane over here to take your place. I'll see to it right off, Sergeant Rafferty. Yes, Sergeant. Oh, Mr. Boone, I was just wondering if your, uh, if your quarters were suitable. We'll sleep well, thank you. Oh, it's you. What's wrong, then? Nothing, Dan. Well, something's bothering me. It's that, that soldier, Hanks. What about him? 
really. It was just his manner. Maybe I better have a talk with Mr. No, Dad. I'm probably just being foolish, and I don't want to cause any trouble. Please. Right. I bet you all get medals for saving the fort the way you did. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sergeant Raffney should get a special one for being wounded. Oh, yeah, probably. Probably will. Oh, Shawnee arrows sure are hard to pull out. Did he do it all by himself? Uh, yep, that's just what he did. I saw my pa do it once. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Well, see you later. I gotta deliver the wood. All right, goodbye now. Ow. They're not ready yet, Dan. Uh, thanks for telling me. <laughs> I'm done yet. Let's see. Need anything from the wagon, Ma? No. You can get me a bucket of water. Oh. Dan, will they be finished with the burying by morning? I am so far. Nothing. Except I'll be glad when we leave. We'll be leaving whether they're finished or not. Just what makes you so sure the money's buried here? Well, you see, it's standard military procedure to dispose of valuables in case of attack. The colonel couldn't have burned the gold, so he must have buried it. Oh, but why right here? There's an awful lot of ground inside this stockade. This is a garden area nobody had noticed. Newly turned earth. <laughs> Well, Mr. Boone, can I help you with something? Well, my wife threw me out of the kitchen, so I'm just leaving it around for a while. <laughs> well, you know how these women are. By the way, what time is supper? Oh, I figured it'd be an hour at least. Good, I'm sure tired of that digging. How'd you like to uh, join me in a drink? Don't mind if I do. I got a jug hidden over there. Come on. Spirits. One thing they didn't get. Well, good health, good luck. Luck to you, Sergeant. <sighs> well, frankly, I feel I've already had my luck considering I'm still alive. I was wondering about that. How many Shawnee were there? <laughs> Who knows? They were coming over that fence so fast, couldn't tell. hundred or more, at least. How'd the five of you manage to stay alive? Well, I don't know that either, except there was so much smoke from the fires. It was half dark. After they killed the colonel, why, uh, we went over to the barracks there and decided to ford up there. Indians were so busy looting, they didn't pay any attention to the barracks. We just laid low, and as luck would have it, they left before they burned us out. I never want to see anything like that again. Sure, I've been looking forward to this, ma'am. Hope you enjoy it, Sergeant. Thank you. Thank you. It looks good, ma'am. There you go. Uh -huh. Israel, I want to see you finish every bite on that plate. Yes, ma'am. Dan? Hmm? Oh. Something bothering you? I'm not putting my finger on. Yet you're still bothered. Did you ever notice how we're never alone? I don't mean just now, but. There's always somebody nearby. Well, if it bothers you, why don't you ask them? For the time being, I just assumed they didn't know that I'd noticed. Hmm. I'll get some coffee. Mm. Like another biscuit? No, thanks. Why don't you give it to Sergeant Rafferty? 
He needs it more than the others. Why, with that arrow wound in him. Arrow? Sure. Mr. Crane told me all about it. He even pulled it out all by himself. some rest. I can stand guard if you want. Well, what are you doing out here? Well, I just keep wondering if those Shawnees are going to come back. Oh, you don't think they're apt to do that, do you? I mean, I, I heard they wouldn't fight at night. Then why are you standing guard? Well, I'm just carrying out orders, sir. Oh, Mr. Boone, if I was you, I'd step back inside there. I reckon the sergeant's just concerned about my wife and son. Yes, sir, he is. He's concerned about him. I mean, that's why I'm posted here, make sure nothing happens to him during the night. Your brother's a very thoughtful man. Matt, Michael. Night. Did you have to be so curious? Dan, what is it? What's wrong? Well, I might as well tell her, Mr. Boone. Tell me what? Well, these so-called heroes were military prisoners awaiting trial from the Shawnee attack. I don't understand. They were kept in the cellar. Colonel went down to ask him to help out with the fighting. They killed him. Very good, Mr. Boone. Very good. Unfortunate accident, ma'am. You mean they were just hiding down there? Ma'am, um, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to ask you to uh, stay on with us as our guests until we can uh, decide what to do with you. Yes, sir. You might get to where you could enjoy our company. That's enough out of you, Willie. I do beg your pardon, ma'am. Uh, 
We're going to get back to Boonesboro soon. They just might come looking for us. We have no desire to stay here very long, Mr. Boone. You poking around where you're not supposed to, you know we'll have to keep you here until we get away. I'm sure you understand that. You've made that pretty plain. We'll get you out of here as soon as we can, but in the meanwhile, uh, you won't try to cut and run out, will you? I'm not a fool, Sergeant. I wouldn't leave my wife and son here with you. Well, I'm delighted to hear that. That'll make it a lot easier on all of us. Boy, since you're awake, why don't you uh, go on out and get some firewood for the, for the fireplace, huh? Michael here will see that you don't get lost. You two fellows get back to your dinner. Is that what you're waiting for? The bearing to be over with? Ma'am, we are looking for an army payroll that was delivered here three days ago. The Colonel, unfortunately, buried it or we would have been long gone before you got here. What are you gonna do with us? As I say, we haven't had time to uh, talk about it or think it over, but um, I just had a thought standing here. Maybe I can make a deal with you. How would you like to guide us up to Canada? Would that interest you? My wife and son go free? You know, you look like an honest man, and I trust you. But I don't trust you that much. You might get us out there and lose us in the bush. No, sir. Your family goes with us, or there's no deal. Why don't you think it over? You'll have to excuse me, because uh, we have a lot of work to do now. Ma'am, I wish you a good evening, and if there's anything you need, uh, Mr. Hanks here will be waiting outside. Dan, what are we going to do? Well, time's on our side until they find that payroll. But they're bound to find it sooner or later. Then I'll make a deal with them to guide them to Canada. Unless I think of something in the meantime. You ask me, it ain't get back there. What ain't get back there? Don't worry about it, big ears. You just get some more wood. All right, soldier man. I think I'm going to take me a look in that direction. All right. Come on, come on. You're just getting lazier and lazier. You can help. What's the matter, boy? I heard something in the pile. Might be a rattlesnake. Oh, you thought you heard a rattlesnake? Oh, well, that's funny. I don't hear any rattlesnake. Being as late as it is and chilly, they don't rattle too loud. Wait, you sure you maybe didn't find something else, huh? No, honest. Big old rattlesnake, huh? Hey, you better watch it! Don't put your hands in there! Oh, look out! Boy, you go get somebody to help me. I've been bit. You stay here. Don't move a muscle. I'll get my paw. Hey, boy. We was to get some wood. Where is it? Right, we're right, but you got bit by a streak. I gotta get my paw. Now, right don't there. lie to me. You get on back and do as you was told. Honest, but what's he go? Thanks. What is it, Israel? Brother Rapid got bit by a snake ball. You gotta help him. Come on. Help me. Please help me. I've been hurt. Heavens, get some coals. We'll burn the poison out. I've been hurt. Let me have a look. Can you help me, Mr. Boo? Just take these and knock it. You're gonna be all right. Somebody get me a knife and fire it. I got one. Israel, get me a stick. Sure. Well, I'm getting well, You better hope it stays that way. Hurry up with that knife. Coming. Sergeant, hold this stick. And hold him steady till I get through the test. when he wakes up. I'll take him into the colonel's quarters, wrap some blankets around him. My wife will look after him. You saved my brother's life. You didn't know him anything? It didn't matter about anything. If man needed help, he was going to die. 
Sure. Paul once fixed a broken leg of a Cherokee that was after his furs. Now they're best of friends. You have my thanks. That's all. Let's find that snake before he strikes somebody else. Sure. I guess I owe you my life. My husband's the one you should be grateful to. I'm grateful to both of you. You don't know how much. Only wish there was some way I could show it. It just might be. It's no use, Paul. I guess he's gone. Israel? Yes, Paul? You were the one that went after the wood. Why was it that Michael's the one that got bit? Well, you see, <clears throat> he thought I found something. He wanted to see for himself. I told him there was a snake, but he just went right ahead. What do you suppose he thought I found? That money pouch. He seemed bound and determined to find it. Could it be in a big leather pouch? This might be. I know where it is. You do? Sure, I saw it. Well, I'm listening. I saw Private Evans put in his bedroll when I was gathering wood. The one over there on the far end. Is it important what I told you, Pa? It just might be important enough to get us out of here. Israel, do you remember those Indian calls we've been practicing? Sure. A timber wolf, yowl, and the black hawk. Well, not now, son. See those deep shadows over there? I want you to go over there, count a hundred, and then let loose. Then I want you to get that money bag and throw it down in the cellar. Then hide until it's safe. You understand? Israel? You're a good man. I've seen everything. First he saves Michael's skin, now he's digging his own grave. The sooner we find what you're looking for, the sooner we'll get out of here. What is it? Could be the Shawnee have come back. Man of Stockade, you come through, boom. There's probably nothing to see. What would be your opinion, Mr. Boone? What about those noises we heard? Boone, he's in on this. That makes sense, Sergeant. He was with us the whole time. But the boy wasn't. And he knows Indian ways like his pa. What do you hope to gain by that? Let's find out. You get the boy up here. Get back to work, Evans. You get back to your digging. If he's gonna die, we should get it over with. Means one less to share the money with, doesn't it? Means more than that. 
We can't afford to stay here too long, and who knows when he's going to be in any shape to travel. Crane, Sergeant wants to see the kid. What does he want to see Israel for? Ma'am, I didn't ask. Israel, be... It's all right, Ma. Pa's out there. How's he doing? No change that I can see. I'll take over here. You go on out and help Evans with the digging. You wanted to see me, sir? Yeah. Well, I'm here. What do you want me for? Why'd you do it, boy? Do what? Make those noises so I think the Indians were out here. No, I was over there with my mom. Don't you lie to me, boy. Since you are an Indian expert, Mr. Boone, maybe you could stand up here for a little while. Anything you say, Sergeant. Yeah, well, you stay put. I'll be watching you. What do we do now, Paul? We just wait. Makes sense to me, Crane. Cause my left ear is underneath my bedroll when I come back. It's gone. Well, just suppose you tell me what you're looking for, and maybe I can help you find it. I you know what I'm looking for. Crane, now I'm gonna blow your head off, so you might as well tell me where it's hit. Have you gone out of your mind? Put that gun down. <laughs> I see what you want, Crane. You tell me where it's hid, and maybe we can share it. Oh, the payroll, huh? So you've had it all the time. You ought to know, Crane. You stole it from me. Well, I didn't steal it. I didn't even see it. Well, if you didn't steal it, who did? That's a good question, Private Evans. That is a very good question. How long have you been standing around? Long enough. Now you're going to have to give me a chance to explain myself. Put that gun down, then you can talk. Yes, sir. Well, you see, sir, I... I hadn't had the money very long when... Boone started yelling Indian. So I figured I'd better put it in a safe spot. But I meant to give it back to you. Hmm. Are you expecting me to believe that? Well, yes, sir, I am, because that's the way it happened. Do you believe him, Private Crane? What do you think? What are we going to do with him? I think we ought to line him up against the wall and shoot him. That's too easy on him. What do you think we ought to do with you, Evans? Well, I don't think you should do anything to me, sir. I never meant to steal the money. Evans, you are a liar and a thief. Let's shoot him. I'd like to, but we're going to need him later. Well, well, then we'll shoot him later. That'll be one less hand dipping in the pot anyway. But we still don't know where that payroll is, Sergeant. We'll find it. Well, I didn't take it. So that only leaves Hanks and your brother. They didn't take it either. Well, who did? 
That's a good question to ask Mr. Boone. Boone! Come down for a moment. I'd like to have a word with you. That was a good plan. What plan? Those Indian calls to attract our attention. Sounded like Shawnee to me. They weren't Shawnee. You know it, and I know it. Come on over to the campfire. We'll talk about it. There you go, Michael. Thank you, man. Well, go on. Well, we, uh, we took an oath. I mean, man doesn't like to go back on his word. Oh, your brother's a smart man. Hiding behind you when he knows you all might be pardoned if you turned him in. No, I, I never said he did the killing. You don't have to. It's quite obvious from the way he acts. No, he, he didn't do it. He didn't. It was Hanks. Well, Tim got himself shot trying to stop him. What were you under arrest for? Desertion. Other things. What other things? Well, my brother got himself thrown in the guardhouse for hitting an officer. Like, he didn't mean to do it. He was drunk. Well, I would have meant the finish of him, so I... I opened the guardhouse door and... I see, and the, the others got out. Next thing I knew, we were going over the wall. You went with them? Well, there wasn't much else to do. I mean, I should have known it was me let him out. Have you ever given any thought to what's going to happen to you when you get out of here? Yes, ma'am. I'll be a fugitive from justice. A man on the run for something you didn't do. That's not a very pleasant prospect. Well, we were all there, ma'am. I mean, I figure that makes us all accomplices. We're bound together. And you'll all hang together. No. Nobody's going to hang because nobody will tell. How can you be so sure of that? How well do you know these men? How do you know you can trust them? Well, I, I don't really know any of them very well. Except my brother. What's on your mind, ma'am? I'd guess the court would grant immunity to anyone who would testify against the guilty one. And there might be a reward for the return of the money. No. No, it's too late for that. It's too late for me even to help you. Even if I wasn't in any shape to do it. Michael, you can talk to them. Maybe one of them. I could talk to my brother. He's the only one who... You ain't gonna tell anything to anybody. You figured to play on his sympathy and his gratitude, didn't you? Now, if you need help, why not try me? I could be a whole lot more friendly. Yes, sir, I could be real friendly. And if I just had something to be grateful for. You leave it alone. We know that you hid the money. It's nearby, we'll find it. With or without your help. You're gonna leave here at daybreak. I will give you until then to make up your mind. Sergeant, I'm... Boom, stop! Look Hold it, kid. I'll teach you not to yell. gun down. Leave him alone. I'll kill him for that. You're not gonna kill anybody. You'll give me one good reason why I don't. There's 
There's been enough killing around here. Besides, we need him to guide us up to Canada. I'll kill him when we get there. Pa! Stay here, boy. Are you all right? Did they hurt you? No, no, they didn't hurt me, Dad. Come on, Boone. No, no, I can wait. Boone? Would you leave him alone? Can't you see he's hurt? He's all right, ma'am. I didn't hit him hard. Mr. Boone, we decided to wait until morning for your decision, but since we're all here now, let's settle it. Where did you hide the money? I told you what the deal was. My wife and son go free. I'll show you where the money is and guide you to Canada. And I told you you have nothing to bargain with, not if you care about your family. Sergeant, I don't believe you'd hurt either one of them. I wouldn't. But I'm not sure if Willie Hanks here. It'll be a pleasure, Mr. Boone. Money's in the cellar. Crane, check the cellar. Okay. Leave the boy. Oh. Sergeant, I have to ask one question. Go ahead. What guarantee do I have that my family won't be harmed once we get to Canada? Speaking for myself, you have my word. What about Hanks and the others? You'll have to talk to them about that. Like we'll be going to Canada. Hold it right there, Mr. Boone. I need you. But I don't need you that much that I won't kill you. You won't do that either. You've already fired that once, remember? Pulling the money right down there. Be easy. Jim? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to go against you. They'd have shot Boo. We've only been gone a week. Some weeks longer than others. This is one of the longest I can remember. How you doing, soldier? Just fine, Mr. Boone. Thanks to you. Well, I'm the one that knows the thanks. Hanks had me dead centered. Mr. Boone, you think the courts will go easy on my brother? They will if I have anything to say about it. And he will. I was just thinking, you're the only man I know who can say the luckiest day of his life was the day he was bitten by a rattlesnake. All right, Israel. Let him go. Oh. 